Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my Swing Pleasures. I am back with the second episode of Superman and Lois. So, the first episode was, well, I mean, felt obviously, and it was, uh, so premiere. So, it sort of laid the groundwork for a lot of things. And uh, obviously, now we know that they have decided or they were going to have a serious discussion about moving to Smallville. Uh, I'm guessing that's going to happen eventually. Um, so there was that. And we know that of the two brothers, one of them obviously has powers and the other doesn't. But then, as I would like to say, the other doesn't have powers for now. Eventually, he's going to get them. I mean, come on. Kind of obvious. Uh, so there is that. Uh, we also saw the. Well, I mean, uh, does this mean that we're not going to see any more Metropolis, like, and no more Daily Planet and all those things? I don't know. Maybe we will. Uh, yeah, I don't really have any other sort of recap or anything of the sorts. It was a strong start to. Strong start to the show, and then obviously, yeah, yeah, I do have something to talk about. Of course, I do. I just remember uh, the last scene we had somebody, some sort of a, an, an AI call out Captain Luthor. Uh, so, this is the thing that I did not really realize at the time, and then I realized some time later was that uh, because. I mean, when I say sometime later, I mean the time when I was actually editing my reaction. Uh, so this Captain Luthor guy, like, yeah, he's bald, but then he doesn't really have the voice that the guy who plays Lex Luthor in Supergirl has. So I, I mean, at the time, I obviously had the feeling that they maybe are two different actors. But then the thing that I realized was that. This Captain Luthor guy, like, uh, in one of the scenes, uh, while he was fighting Superman, he said that my whole world died because of you, and then, uh, like you, I also, like, yeah, yeah, he said something like this, uh, basically sort of sparked in me that maybe he is a Captain Luthor from another Earth. Uh, for some reason, this did not strike me while I was watching the show. Uh, maybe he, yeah, so he could be from another Earth and somehow survive the crisis. I have no idea how he could have done it, but then maybe he did and here we are. So that's also possible. Uh, so yeah, so is he the main villain of the sort of show or is it somebody else? That will also be interesting to find out. So yeah. That's all for this. I mean, I don't really have anything else to say. Uh, here we go. All lower. What? I mean, somebody please explain to me why they hid his face in the end of the first episode only for them to show it in the first five minutes of the next episode. Like, I literally thought that the face, the, the reason that they hid the face was because it was going to be like a sort of a big face reveal sort of thing. Like, I mean, they literally showed it like five minutes later, like, what's the point? Oh, they're going into the fortress of solitude. How come we get to go flying with dad and I have to go to school? At least we have radio. This is 
is your grandfather. Okay. The man you're named after. Jor-El. Jor-El. You brought your son to me. Why? Because, unlike we thought, Father, he's manifesting abilities. Well, then. It is possible for us to further our Kryptonian heritage after all. Is there a number that's more feasible? Because I would hate for what happened in New Carthage to happen here. Such as? Missing job creation targets by nearly 50%. Paying well below living wage, that kind of thing. Here's what I love about Lois Lane. When she smells a story, she goes after it with everything she has. Ah, uh, this is... This is not good. I was wrong. But what I promised those people was that I'd take a risk on them when no one else would. And that's exactly what I've come to offer everyone here. A chance to save this town oh. and improve its residents' lives. Yeah. He is concocting a nice story. It's going to be... Perhaps you're right, Miss Lane. Perhaps Smallville isn't the place to take a risk right now. I certainly wouldn't want to cause any harm to this great community. Yeah, like he is talking well. He is talking well. Uh, and he is polarizing the people against her. Uh, you should probably get away from the bomb. Ah, uh, this is not good. Oh, uh, this is not good. This is not good. What? We told the boys. Figured it out the other night. What do you say? Oh, you know, just that we're making the biggest mistake of our lives. See, now I know we're on the right track. <laughs> What's that? It is about an article I am working on about Morgan Edge. Edge? He was at the Smallville City Council meeting last night. I thought you weren't getting involved. What? Yes, but then he started spouting this BS about helping the town. Morgan Edge is not here to save Smallville, Kansas. He's here for cheap labor because people are desperate. Just like he did with New Carthage and Hazel Green and Granville. He is eating these small towns from the inside out. To have enough power to produce these abilities on command is human DNA is just too limiting. I know you wish for this. But he will never be like you, Kyle. I mean, yeah, I mean, you can't really expect Jonathan, sorry, Jordan to be exactly like Carol. I mean, because Jordan is not exactly like Carol. I mean, he has, to, he's a mixture of a human and a Kryptonian. So there's obviously going to be, in this context, deficiencies from the human sort of. Well, human half of him, essentially. So, I mean, he has something which is better than nothing, and that's, I guess, the way to look at it. Sam, I sent this in hours ago, and now you're having second thoughts. Hello? Leave me alone. Jordan, I'm not going to the Cushing. What happened at the fortress? Because we found out what I always knew. I'm not special. Jordan, it is a process. We will go back. We will test you again, and we'll see how you progress over time. Yeah. Maybe he should just stay home. What? Why? Baby, you have another bad day? Screw you. No, boys. Hey, no. I am sick of your crap, okay, Jordan? This is not just about you. I got the shaft. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What does that mean? It means that Don Draper over here kissed Sarah at the bonfire party. So now her dick boyfriend and the entire team are out to get me. That's why you didn't get the playbook? Yeah, genius. I guess super perception isn't one of your powers. Okay, okay. You know what, Jonathan? You and I, we could go out front. We can run plays. No, babe, not right now. Listen, sweetie, I am sorry about the playbook. That really sucks. 
And I'm sorry, going to the fortress didn't meet your expectations. You're probably so disappointed. But now's not the time to wallow in everything that's gone wrong since we came Go, here. Louis Lynn. We moved here to be closer as a family. This is so brilliant. We're to this dinner as a family, and we are going as a family. So get dressed. Well done. You heard your mother. What? Oh, there is nothing inside it. You're different now, okay? Something happened to you. Definitely something special. If no one else is gonna help you figure out what that is. I will. Ah, that's cool. I like that. I like that. I'm happy that they're not making an enemy out of twin brother. What's going on? You rewrote my story. <clears throat> I merely corrected what was wrong. So just to confirm, we can't do any actual reporting here anymore, correct? Miss Lane, I won't have my paper printing this kind of nonsense. That's what I thought. He's leaving? Ah, oh, this is lovely. What's this? Resignation, mate. That is the best writing I've done. <laughs> oh, that is a great one. Oh, that's brilliant. And yeah, she is going to join the Gazette. Yeah, I knew it. Hello. I wonder who the owner of this place is because she said that the owner is a big fan of Lois Lane. I'm guessing you read my article that was in the Daily Planet. Yeah, I did. Didn't really read like you. Because it wasn't. This is what I really wrote. Morgan Edge changed the whole piece. You said that your editor would be Yeah, editor, not the owner, piece. editor. You're really good, you got me. Um, I'm the editor. Reporter, printer, janitor. Oh. Yeah, I don't know why I said oh. that. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. If I publish this, she'll probably get fired, and I can't be responsible. Oh no. He quit. I already quit. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. When can you start? Yeah. Wait. What? Wait, this doesn't even make sense. Like, this doesn't even make sense. Like, if he was hurt, or like, you know, if there was an evil Superman in his world, and then that's the reason his he has this sort of like, 
I mean, this doesn't even begin to make sense. Like, I'm not even able to make proper grammatically and meaningful sentences because how dumb this sounds. Because if a superman from another world destroy your, destroyed your world, then why would you want to take revenge on a superman from a completely different world? Like, how does that even begin to make any sense? Like, what? Okay, I mean, that was just a small portion of the episode. I mean, we saw a couple of fights. I'm not really sure how this guy has the super speed and how his um, armor is even sort of capable of withstanding the withstanding the blows from Clark. So yeah, I mean, I guess it's not really though it's not really that important of a question. But then there are they are there. Uh, so he he was obviously searching for kryptonite because that was the thing that we heard in the last episode that that was the last of your kryptonites. So he obviously needs kryptonite, which he couldn't find in this earth anywhere. So my question is, uh, yeah, my question was, I mean already asked it, like, why would you want to take revenge on some other Clark Kent? Anyways, we saw a black suited Superman sort of killing his, he was sort of in the army or in the forces basically, and then he killed all his sort of um, colleagues is not the correct word. He basically, that black suited Superman basically killed all his fellow soldiers. Um, so we saw some part of that small backstory. Um, yeah, so there was that. We obviously had the, thankfully, only one episode lasting uh, sort of beef between the twin brothers over this power thing. Um, I'm happy that it just lasted one episode and not more than that. Uh, I mean, now, I wonder how this is going to happen because uh, Jordan obviously has very less of the Superman powers in him and even they got manifested under very extreme circumstances. So, is it going to be a case of he doesn't have powers normally, but then under sort of high adrenaline, some stuff like that, he gets his powers, it activates in him, like what's the deal there? Uh, the next question of course is, so under what circumstances is Jonathan going to get them? Because I'm pretty sure Jonathan's going to have some powers. Uh, I'm convinced of it. It's just a question of how. So yeah, and then this, I forgot her name. She's Lana's kid, right? The girl uh, that Jordan killed last episode. I mean, so obviously the girl and Jordan are going to be a thing. It's a wild prediction to make, but maybe the girl and Jonathan could be a thing. But then, yeah, as I said, a wild prediction, but then I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, anyways, the point being, so that is, yeah, that is definitely going to happen possibly towards the end of the season. Uh, in terms of this, this, um, the Smallville Gazette, uh, so leaving Daily Planet and coming to this, I'm guessing it's part of some comic somewhere in some corner. Uh, and even this, even if it's not part of any comic and it's an original story, I feel like the Smallville Gazette is something that's part of the comics, if not the part that Louis Lane joins it. So, so there's that. Um, yeah, but one of the more interesting things for me, which I did not really understand, was the space reveal that happened like five minutes into this episode of Captain Luthor. What was even the point of it? Like, it wasn't like I wasn't shocked seeing his face. Like, I hadn't seen that face ever before in any of the Arrowverse shows, as far as I can remember. So it wasn't like, you know, revealing that Savita was Barry Allen or, you know, who was that guy, Jay Garrick, who was pretending, pretending to be Jay Garrick. Like, 
wasn't some sort of a reveal like oh my god i can't believe it's him like at least it would have been at least some sort of a reveal if it turned out to be the guy who plays luthor in supergirl but it wasn't obviously so yeah i don't know um i th- i mean to be fair i yeah, right this episode was pretty good like i mean i i can't believe that 45 50 minutes of the episode or 40 minutes i'm not really sure how long the episode was it went so fast like i did not even realize it and it was just done so that's of course a very good sign and the first two, two episodes i mean i would say that the first two episodes for me personally aren't as good as i felt when i watched the first two episodes of arrow or the flash because they were just wow you were just hooked on to the show but this has been if they can maintain this consistency in terms of story writing and they can manage to give a good sort of push towards the last few episodes i feel like this could be this could be an absolute blockbuster of a tv show and i hope it turns out to be one because that would be fun um yeah do i have anything else to talk about because i feel like i don't uh i mean i have almost covered everybody this morgan edge guy is going to be the season villain i feel like i feel like this uh the captain luthor thing that's happening may be sort of the villain for superman and clark and this morgan edge guy could be the villain for lois and her part of the story so i mean we can't have just one villain and try to you know cover everything so yeah so we are probably going to see some sort of an investigative journalism point of view from lois and then we're going to see this like uh you know threaten the world threaten the family threaten superman sort of thing from captain luthor and maybe something else uh so i am looking forward to that um yeah yeah i'm trying to think if anybody else am i missing anybody else um uh, yeah i can't i can't think of yeah i can't think of anybody else I wonder if Jimmy Olsen is going to be a part of this show. I guess it he won't because I don't know why he left Supergirl in the first place. Was like was it because of personal reasons? Did he not want to be a part of that thing anymore? So maybe he he won't want to be part of this. But then if we do happen to see him, it would be really fun. and i am disappointed by the fact that we haven't seen any soap opera like this i felt like the first episode was a perfect opportunity for her to be there just for a cameo but because she she hasn't made it yet i wonder if she's ever going to make it so yeah so what's jonathan's story going to be like because i feel like jordan's story is going to be about how he uh gains awareness about his powers and obviously his story with the girl the daughter of lana lang is her son in lang i heard somewhere it's her son in his lang but i'm not sure so he i forgot her name so she her and jordan sort of character is going to be one of the things that focus on jordan and then obviously how he gains awareness about his powers Lois stories are going to be about this Morgan Edge and those sort of things the daily that not the daily that the small will get said and stuff like that and then Clark story is going to be about how he can be a good father and also good superman that's obviously been mentioned a few times in the first two episodes so what's Jonathan's going to be about like is he going to be, is it going to be about him being a very good what was the sport they were playing was it was it american football was it was it that i'm not sure so what was the sport he was playing and what was the sport he's good at 
So is it going to be about that? Is it going to be about how he helps his brother and with all of these things? Uh, we've already seen his girlfriend twice. Like they were FaceTiming and they were like video chatting a few times. Couple times once, first episode and now. So is she ever going to play any part? Like, I don't know. Uh, yeah, that part is obviously curious. Like what's Jonathan's role going to be in this? in this show like is he just going to be the guy who helps his brother or is it are we also going to see something of his own um and yeah i'm still not convinced by lana yeah i don't know like i because it's probably because of the fact that i have seen the same actress play a negative sort of character in another show and i don't trust her at all so I seem to find myself unable to trust her even in this show. Yeah, um, that's all for this reaction guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please do share your thoughts in the comment section and yeah, join in the discussion. So yeah, that's all for this reaction. Bye.